Close your eyes and see where you feel the breathing and treat it well. In other words, be gentle with the breath. Don't force it too much. If it's not comfortable, think of better ways you could breathe and then allow the breath to respond. You don't have to force it. When you do this, you're showing goodwill for yourself. And when you treat yourself well inside, then it's a lot easier to treat other people well, too. Spread thoughts of goodwill to people. It's a wish for their happiness. Well, we have to have some sense of well-being inside. Otherwise, it's just words. And John Lee's images of opening a faucet. If you don't have any sense of well-being inside, you open the faucet and there's nothing but air. It's like a faucet into a water tank where there's no water. But if you've got water in the tank, then you open the faucet, there's water for everybody else. So be gentle with the breath inside. Be considerate of the breath inside, and that helps you be a lot more considerate of other people. Because the way you run your mind is going to be the way you're going to be treating other people, too. The two go back and forth. So treat your mind well, treat your body well right now. That doesn't mean just letting things be easy, but it means trying to do what's best. And try to do it with a sense of well-being, a sense that this is good work to do. And when you're considerate of the body and consider the mind this way, then it's a lot easier to be considerate of other people. So work on your inner dialogue here. Make sure that there's goodwill, motivating the dialogue inside, motivating your engagement with people outside. Think about your own true happiness. Where is that found? It's found inside. Other people are going to find their true happiness inside, too. So it's not the case that you can give them happiness, but you can act in ways that are conducive to their finding happiness inside. You don't want to get in the way of that, pro that prospect. And that way the world all around becomes a much better place to live in, both inside and out.